sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. Our travellers have arrived in Canberra during its most popular annual festival, Floriade. Every spring, half a million people flock to this free, month-long floral frenzy, the biggest petal party in the Southern Hemisphere. Look at all these pretty flowers. I love the smell of them. Is that weird? Like they flowers? Just... You meant to like the smell of them. <laughs> so the first place we went to was Fluoride. I think it's fluoride. I don't think it's fluoride. All I can smell is flowers and meat pies. Yeah, good mix. Amazing. It was just stinking pretty everywhere we went. I think we should take a picture with them. Perfect. How about you immerse yourself in between? Like that. <laughs> We're excited because Sage here is a massive fan of flowers. Oh, I We grow flowers. tulips in our front yard. Not tulips, they're daffodils. Oh. You don't even know what I grow. Insert yourself on In, the other side. Insert my... Oh, my goodness. Immerse yep. and insert. Yep. What am I, a tea bag? Looking at me. Chest out, gut in. Can uh... you not do that? That's really unattractive. Yeah, I've got a better one. You need to one. do that. My signature pose is... Oh, my God. Uh, one up high. And you always have one tit out. <laughs> <laughs> You only give them a taste of one. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. So I had a great idea, great action shot with the flowers underneath me. <laughs> Just didn't realise I'm not that athletic. <laughs> Quick, pick up the evidence. <laughs> that was an epic fail, OK? Stuff it in my I fired 100%. What do you mean? Floriard visitors can also flex their green thumbs in a bunch of workshops, like flower arranging. So you would usually have, like, a main focal flower. Yes, like a tree! <laughs> I just wait, I haven't put my flowers in yet. I've never done flower arranging before, but I'm very good with colours. I was going for the bridal party look. I don't think any brides would like that on their wedding day. Why? <laughs> She said if she was a bride, she'd cry. I mean, how bloody rude. Mind something that you would put in a foyer at a hotel. I love your confidence there. <laughs> I'm going for the messy look. Yours looks like a bush. I thought your bush was very good, Mum. So did I. My bush was like a forest. Okay, well, mine's done. Well, I actually think you could become a florist. God, is that what my life has come to? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do flowers. <laughs> That's probably why I'm still single. <laughs> we are making terrariums today. Okay. Oh. A garden in a glass. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers. <laughs> no, that's not going to work for us. It's like bonsai, you know, it's tree torture. They're sort of having this massive resurgence. Are they? Why is that? I think because people are living in smaller spaces and they want green in their homes. And they're and cheaper it... than kids. And probably more rewarding. At the end of the day, it was still a friggin' terrarium. Are you happy with what you I'm made? I'm very happy with that. You are now terrarium parents. Oh, oh dear. Not to worry. On a positive note, what we created here is apparently about 120 bucks worth each. eBay's looking good. So how many roses are we allowed to have? As many as you want. Beautiful, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> she knows they're expensive, so she thought she's just going to jam as many as she can in the box. I think you guys are doing a great job. Thank you. They are very unorthodox. What's that mean? Unorthodox. What is unorthodox, sweetie? I have got no idea. I'm assuming it's something not good. It's a very expensive arrangement that we've got there. <laughs> So you had you 32 roses in that box, I counted. Don't want to overdo it, just a few more touches. We didn't care what unorthodox mean. We were just doing it the stack and mal way. I think I've done a bloody pretty good job here. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm actually, actually. quite proud of myself. Yes. No Check city. it out. You no can city, paint your yeah. own gnome, man. Ooh, nothing gets the blood pumping more than a good gnome <laughs> painting sesh. I want to make a Teletubby. Oh, it's so lame. I'm going for the red Teletubby. It's so lame, OK. Yeah, po. Okay. Everyone loves yeah. Poe from Teletubby. Good old friendly Poe. What could go wrong? Oh, 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 what did I do? Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I'm scared of my own gnome. <laughs> that is that not is... a Teletubby. <laughs> I feel like the deeper I got into it, the more creepier it got. That was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. And I've watched a videotape of my mum giving birth to me. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> well, what is that? This is what an arts degree gets you. How is that three years worth of art uni? <laughs> it's just green. What? How? You paid 50 grand for this. I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> I'm sorry.